Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I really liked it, but with some reservations. Michael Sarah stars as Scott, the bass guitarist for the band Sex Bobomb. In order to date Ramona Flowers, the girl of his dreams, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Scott must man up and defeat her seven evil exes. At first, I didn't think I'd be able to relate to Scott Pilgrim. The film is a loving pastiche of retro video games and gamer culture, but I'm an exclusively PC gamer who has never owned a console and only had old Macs to play with for much of my life. So the games of my childhood sounded less like this. Everybody stay alert! You've got an enemy on your tail! Do a barrel roll! Fatality! Game over! Let's go! And more like this. Welcome to Cybernet. I have never played a Mario, Zelda, Sonic, or Kirby game, so you could say that I'm rather out of touch with the big icons and turning points in video gaming. Even so, I still understood most of the references and gaming elements in Scott Pilgrim. Within the three-act structure of Guy Meets Girl, Guy Fights for Girl and Loses Her, Guy Wins Girl Back, the film has more of a seven-level structure, with each evil ex being the boss at the end of each stage. And in a world running on video game rules, the brilliant fight scenes involve such game staples as combos, power-ups, and extra lives. Scott Pilgrim is a strange animal. There are many reasons why I shouldn't like it, but I still do. Let's get the big one out of the way. Scott cheated on his girlfriend Knives Chow, Ellen Wong. Granted, their relationship doesn't feel that serious, and Scott later apologized for being unfaithful in the climax, but this doesn't change the fact that he cheated on a girl who adores him. Despite this, with emphasis on despite, I still liked his character and his relationship with Ramona. The film portrays Scott as an affable doofus, and he undergoes an engaging character arc from a whiny, insecure kid to a bold, self-confident hero. Scott is already a superhuman ass-kicker from the beginning, so he must grow and mature on a personal level. Like most good characters, Scott is a nice guy with flaws to overcome, and the fact that he cheated on Knives with Ramona is something I could get past, but I'm not sure if I should. Virtually every character has a fun, exaggerated personality, yet Ramona, despite her ever-changing hair and fighting skills, is comparatively bland. All she is is a weary, somewhat sullen young woman with a softer side. Scott and Ramona only seem to talk about their poor love lives, but Sarah and Winstead have fun chemistry and they make a sweet couple. There isn't much of a reason for a romance between Scott and Ramona beyond she is his woman and he loves her, so Ramona feels more like a goal than a three-dimensional love interest. Still, presenting Ramona as a stand-in for Princess Peach or Zelda was undoubtedly the filmmaker's intention, and this is enough for me to want Scott to get the girl when you consider how heavily the film was influenced by retro video games. Director Edgar Wright and the author of the Source comics, Brian Lee O'Malley, have been accused of sexism by some people. While this wasn't going through my head, I can see where the critics are coming from. I don't think it's inherently sexist to have men fight over a girl, especially in such a cartoonish way, as people in real relationships often need to prove their love, but the notion that Ramona's exes still possess her on some level, and that Scott must fight them so that he can have Ramona, is rather sexist. Also, Knives is downright obsessed with getting Scott back. On the other hand, Ramona, Envy Adams, one of Scott's ex-girlfriends, and Roxy Richter, one of Ramona's exes, are all strong warrior chicks. Also, one of the exes fighting over Ramona is also a woman, so I doubt th that the filmmakers are actually sexist. Aside from Scott cheating on knives and the mild sexism, most of my problems with Scott Pilgrim vs. the World are rational points that I can, in turn, rationalize away. 
The unambiguously good parts of Scott Pilgrim should be a breeze. The visuals are wonderfully bright and energetic, the rock soundtrack is cool, and the frequent battles are some of the most stylish, kinetic, and well-choreographed fight scenes I've ever seen. On those elements alone, the film is tremendous fun. Scott Pilgrim is unrivaled as a fun popcorn movie, and it caters well to those who love the NES era of gaming, but cracks start to show when you think about it. The film has a likable protagonist, a great cast of eccentric characters, a dull yet nice leading lady, the flimsy romance still works due to the narrative essentially being a live-action Mario-style video game, and the action and neon hyperactive aesthetic are outstanding. Most of the cracks seal themselves, but the mildly sexist premise and the fact that Scott cheated on his girlfriend knock the film down a couple of notches, especially since Knives and the cheating subplot didn't really need to be in the movie. I love sex and violence in my movies, and I can easily get behind anti-heroes, but I'm not completely comfortable with ignoring immoral acts and elements for the sake of silly entertainment. Am I thinking too hard about the movie? Maybe. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World earns three and a half stars out of five. Thanks for watching. Cheers.